Hello YouTube, welcome to another video. This time we are going to talk about uh, battery life and uh, we are going to do some benchmarks on the Nokia Lumia 1020 running on uh, Windows 8.1 Windows Phone 8.1 So uh, let's start and uh, head on to Antutu benchmark just on Wi-Fi on. As you can know, you can uh, already download and install the new Windows Phone 8.1 update from Microsoft um, via the um, developer preview. You can do this, but uh, be aware that um, you cannot uh, go back to what you had before on Windows 8, uh, Windows Phone 8. Point oh. uh, so this is a, um, a bummer if you're not satisfied with um, the 8.1 preview you just have to, to stick with this uh, until um, the official one um, gets released so let's start the benchmark It's something totally different that uh, than I was was used on uh, my Android devices. Even Antutu looks different. Uh, it's strange for me, but uh, I just have to get used to it. As you can see, the device uh, has an uh, eleven thousand four hundred and forty six uh, points. As you can see, the um, benchmark is still in uh, beta, so uh, we'll just have to, to work with uh, what we have. Okay, let's go to Multibench 2. This one takes a little longer to do his things than Antutu. It's a little more comprehensive. So, as you can see, here are the results. For CPU, CPU we have a total of 17,580. Data transfer, 24,734. Memory, I'm guessing it's 2,293. And graphics, 37,625 points. So, uh,
these are the results and these are the only benchmarks um, that I found to to be good at anything in the marketplace As you can see, it says that uh, you have to run individual tests at least twice for more accurate results. This is what I usually did on my uh, Android uh, benchmarks videos. Uh, I was running twice the, the benchmarks, but um, I'm not gonna bore you with um, showing you the same thing twice. You can download uh, and install these uh, benchmarks from uh, Microsoft um, Marketplace on your devices and uh, try them out as you can see uh, in this one uh, we have a score of 899 i don't know if uh, this is good or bad apparently it's not that good right here on top um, the best one the fastest one is the um, lumia 1520 if i'm not mistaken so um, apparently my uh, my device in particular is running very low in this benchmark well it is what it is in day-to-day uh, -day, uh, usage i um, i don't feel um, slugginess and uh, nothing uh, nothing bad okay so these are the three benchmarks that uh, we took Antutu benchmark um, multibench 2 and uh, phone mark all of these um, are available in uh, the marketplace you can download them and uh, install them on your device and uh, test it as for the second part of the video, uh, it's about the battery life. After the update to Windows 8.1, my um, only experience with uh, Windows Phone uh, since since they they changed the the mobile OS uh, from uh, the old one was uh, with uh, the Lumia 800 and the um, Lumia 920 and uh, I always make my comparisons with uh, what I had on my Android devices so as far as the Lumia 1020 goes in terms of battery life uh, all I can say after the update to 8.1 is that uh, I usually get around uh, 36 hours of usage uh, let's call it uh, moderate usage not an, um, heavy usage with uh, light usage you, you can get about two days out of the phone light to moderate usage but uh, the moment uh, you start using um, your device is a camera then uh, then things uh, dramatically go bad because uh, the camera at least on this one on the Lumia 1020 the camera it's uh, it's draining a lot of battery I'm not very happy with this I've never seen in my life a device uh, draining so fast the battery when taking pictures. It's understandable the huge sensor and the technology involved uh, in this device, in this camera. It's impressive, uh, but still I would expect uh, from Nokia or from Microsoft um, to do something uh, at least software related because uh, hardware related is um, 
it's impossible and somehow improve uh, the battery the battery drain when using the camera if you use the device as uh, a simple smartphone like uh, everyone else's uh, else uses it uh, nowadays um, taking calls uh, doing some uh, social uh, networking uh, sending uh, texts uh, and so on all the the usage uh, the the usual um, usage then uh, there is no problem with uh, with the battery in this device i actually found the standby time to be i hope i'm not uh, exaggerating but um, it's excellent i mean i lost uh, one percent of battery in standby in 16 hours so only after 16 hours my uh, device uh, lost one percent of, uh, of the battery then of course i started using it uh, as i normally use it uh, taking pictures a lot of fa facebook uh, youtube um, some um, google plus and so on some phone calls and the uh, battery started to to drain a little but i still uh, still made it uh, to to the second day and uh, got uh, about um, 30 35 36 um, hours of usage mixed usage so um Considering the, the specs that uh, this device packs um, with the S4 dual core uh, CPU from Qualcomm and um, 2000 milliamp hour battery, I consider battery life to be good. Not excellent, but good. It would be excellent if uh, somehow uh, it would not drain as much uh, energy when. Uh, taking pictures videos and uh, you have uh, data data enabled because uh, also when we you use the phone to to navigate to facebook or uh, the internet and so on the device uh, tends to drain battery a little faster this is uh, what i noticed uh, with my kind of usage your usage may differ from mine so uh, keep in mind that um, for you it may be great but not for me or vice versa for now i'm uh, okay with battery life i'm not the happiest people uh, happiest guy in the world because um, i came from the sony xperia z1 and uh, the battery on the z1 was uh, pretty good uh, before I had um, LG G2, which was excellent. So uh, I just need to, to get used to the way uh, Windows Phone works. And uh, for now, uh, Windows Phone 8.1 that I have installed on this device, being the preview for developers, it's still uh, an unfinished uh, OS. So uh, when they will officially launch Windows Phone 8.1 uh, for this device, uh, maybe things will improve. Also, uh, this phone is not running the um, Nokia Cyan update, which uh, I hope to get it soon. So uh, that one may, may also improve a lot of things uh, concerning the battery. So this is it. Um, pretty much uh, about uh, benchmarks and battery life if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button also share this video and uh, subscribe to my channel for future uh, content as always um, leave your comments in the comment section uh, leave me your impressions about uh, the battery life you get on your devices on your Lumia 1020 uh, if you have no uh, ways to, to improve battery life, uh, also leave in the comment section so uh, I can see it and uh, others can see it. And as always, don't hes hesitate in uh, contacting me to um, help you if you have issues, uh, problems or uh, you need any answer regarding your uh, mobile device. 
You can follow me on Facebook, on my official uh, page, and also on my um, other pages, which you can see here on my home screen. One of which is called uh, Mobile Photography for All, and the other one is called uh, Let's Talk uh, Mobile Tech. Until next time, uh, wish you all the best, and as always, be safe, be good. Your friend Gabriel, signing out. Bye.